What's up guys, welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So today I'm gonna to show you guys the Cinemango 100, which is manufactured by Vankyo. It's a pretty well-known brand in the projector world for budget projectors at least. This is a mini projector with a native resolution of 720p and boasts 3800 lux. Now it's not the same as lumens, but that's a whole other topic of discussion. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how this projector performs in a dark setting, what it looks like with the lights turned on, and overall what I think about this for about $110. Is this budget projector actually worth you spending 110 bucks for? And what I would advise you guys to actually purchase this for. And we'll take it from there. But just before we go ahead and begin, let's get a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by GVGmall.com. GVG Mall carries a wide variety of game currencies and gift cards that you could use to take your gaming to the next level. If you're looking for a fresh copy of Windows or Microsoft Office, then you can certainly find those on GVGmall.com as well. They are priced very competitively and offer legit copies of Microsoft software. You can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for under 15 bucks. Visit gvgmall.com for more information and use code TSB to save during checkout. So the Vankyo Cinemango 100 can only support up to a 1080p image and it has a built-in native resolution of 720p. Now this isn't by any means the sharpest looking projector and that's why it's priced at only $100. Looking at build quality, this thing is very solidly built. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It's got a nice gloss finish on top. It's got a decent amount of weight to it and it overall has the basic functionalities that you would expect from a mini budget projector. So a couple of things I do like about it is that you do have keystone adjustability right on the top along with a pretty accurate sharpening focus ring on top as well. Both of those seem to work well in my testing and it actually got the picture to look super crisp in a dark room setting. Now speaking of picture quality, this projector truly outshines in dark room settings. So if you're gonna be using this in a classroom during daytime, and not having the lights flipped off, it's really hard to see the image being projected out of this. And I think that has a lot to do with the projector's light rating, which is 3,800 lux. And it's not really following the lumen rating. And like I mentioned, that's not something that I'm gonna dig into too much in this video. Overall, if you guys wanna get a projector, kind of off topic, but if you want a projector that can play really well in bright room settings, you need to get a projector with at least 4,000 lumens. Even 3,500 lumens will pretty much get the job done, but the higher the lumen rating, the better it is going to be in a lighter ambient light room. So in dark room settings, this works really well. And the picture quality is pretty outstanding considering that you're only spending $100 on this. Now up front, I'd say I wouldn't recommend this projector for gaming uses at all. And it's not just because of the input lag, it's because you have to play this in a complete dark environment, which sometimes is just not suitable for gaming. Now, if you do wanna have some of those nights where you're playing games, of course, you can use a Nintendo Switch with this, a PS4, an Xbox One, whatever console is of your choice. However, I'd always recommend to stay away from projectors in general if you're gonna be playing competitive gaming, due to the input lag and latency issues that come with projectors. Unless it's marketed as a gaming projector, you probably don't wanna to do too much gaming with this, but it is a nice to have. So I'm not saying you can't do it. You can absolutely place this somewhere and use it for gaming. Although I personally wouldn't just invest a hundred dollars in a device dedicated to gaming. Now, with that being said and out of the way, this is a fantastic little device if you wanna do any kind of movie nights or if you wanna have, you know, binge watch some shows off of Netflix, stuff of that nature, you can do really well with this. Now, a couple of things I don't like about this projector up front is the actual fan noise. So check out this sound clip of the fan noise without anything actually running, but just the projector turned on on a standby screen. So it's pretty loud and honestly, if you don't have a good uh, speaker system around you, it's pretty obnoxiously loud. It's it's so loud to the point that I could hear it in another room and that's not good when you're having a movie night or something like that. So you might wanna keep some standby speakers available and you can actually plug it in to the headphone jack that's included on the back. That way you can have audio being output instead of the built-in speakers, which, you know, do enough for filling up a small room. And I think it's a great device if you wanna have it in a classroom for a teaching environment, or if you wanna set this up for kids. Animation stuff look really, really well on this projector. But overall guys, for a hundred bucks, I have to say that this is actually worth it. If you guys check out the ratings on Amazon, it's got glowing five-star reviews that are valid. And all the points that those reviewers have made about this or the consumers have made about this are pretty 
true and hold up well to my tests as well. This is a solid projector for dark room environments. It's not something that I would really recommend for gaming. And second, it's not good for a bright lit environment. Overall though, it's a fantastic projector for its price. And actually you can pick it up for only a hundred bucks today if you order it, get free one day delivery if you're in a region near a Amazon DC, because there's a $10 off coupon going on sale with this device. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and purchase it. And then you guys can just enjoy having a nice budget projector that you can take somewhere with you or use in a kid's room or any room that you really want to. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much the end of this video. Now, if you guys want to check out some of my other content on projectors, you can check out the videos that I have towards the end of this video. And of course, if you guys are new to this channel and like this content, go ahead and smash that like button and hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you're always up to date with content as I put it out. But if you have any questions regarding this projector or anything in general, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer you guys as much as I can. And until then, guys, thank you very much for staying through the end of this video and watching, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye.